Hello, 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 my lovely gems, and welcome back to Gems Life Live, and we're going to get into some things. Hello, 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 my lovely gems, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're just going to give an update because Koi LeRae went on The Breakfast Club, and she was talking about a lot. She was giving us a lot of tea. She touched base on working with Nikki and how humble she was and how awesome and how she's guiding her through the industry and giving her some game. So that was really dope to hear. And then she also touched base on her recent relationship with Pressa. So she did say that Pressa was fresh out of Canada. (laughs) And it was so funny because they're like, why are you talking about him like he's coming out of jail or something? (laughs) And she's like, no, no, no. I mean that he's fresh out of Canada and coming to the States with like a different accent and has to get people to, you know, gravitate to him. He's a new artist. So she said, you know, she couldn't really get him to be the way that she wanted him to be. Pretty much meaning that she wanted him to be faithful and under her thumb, but he can't really do that because he's in grind mode and Yeah, so they are broken up, but she says they're still really good friends. So I thought it was really dope of her to uh, big him up on her interview because Coyle Ray is doing so good right now. She has her, I think, I think Nikki and her went number, I'm not sure. I hope she went number one with Blake Blick because I know that that song is doing really well. And um, she also has a song out now with French Montana and 42 Doug. And she also has a whole bunch of people on her album. Like she released everything for Trendsetter and all her collaborations. And there was a lot of people on there. So I haven't heard the album yet. I can't wait to hear the album. And I'm really excited for Coyle Ray. So I just found it interesting that she bigged up Presta. So I wonder what really happened. Maybe he cheated. Maybe he wasn't being honest. And she just had to let it go because uh, it would have been a little stress for me. Me, I know that they broke up from a long time ago because when they were together, she was like gaining a little bit of weight, like, you know, that relationship weight, you know what I mean? She's probably catching it <laughs> and all that stuff. And um, then when I noticed her getting really skinny and I noticed that they weren't posting each other, I figured she was probably stressed out because <laughs> you know how guys are when you're breaking up, they want to stress you out. And then, you know, you don't eat and you're all like just anxiety. So I noticed that she got a little skinnier. So I'm hoping, you know, she finds herself and gets just a little balance and um, she'll gain that weight back right back. So anyway, don't worry, girl, just eat a couple bowls of ice cream. Like I said, you'll get over that. It's all good. And anyway, please like and subscribe and please comment below what you think. Um, Do you think she handled that well on The Breakfast Club, bigging him up? And do you think that they're still friends? Because it was also weird. Then she also posted um, SEX with you socks on a t-shirt just like after that interview. So a lot of people were like, are you talking about Pressa? Like they wanted to know if she was subbing. But she wears a lot of designers clothing and a lot of stuff she promotes. So maybe it was just a shirt and it was a coincidence. Who knows? But anyway, let me know down below and I will be back with another video, my lovely gems.